हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज एग्रीगेट टेक्निकल एंड कमर्शियल लॉसेस व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एटी एंड सी लॉसेस इन पावर सिस्टम माय सेल्फ पीएम मोहन आई एम लेक्चरर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग केके वर्क पॉलिटेक्निक नासी लेट्स सी व्हाट इज एटी एंड सी लॉसेस दैट इज एग्रीगेट एंड कमर्शियल लॉसेस नाउ on your screen you can see the different formulas and uh, explanation you can take the screenshot and i will explain it aggregate and technical commercial losses are nothing but the sum of total technical commercial and shortage due to non realization of total bill amount okay so these three things are included in aggregate technical and commercial losses let's see what is are the distribution losses they are nothing but difference between energy supplied at the input point and energy bill to consumer in percentage terms of particular period if you want to calculate the distribution losses you have to first of all know about what we have generated what we have supplied or how much we paid from the consumers for the percentage technical losses we can calculate by energy input to feeder minus build energy to consumer divided by energy input transmission and distribution losses are technical losses plus commercial losses collection efficiency related with the build amount is nothing but the ratio of revenue actually realized from consumer and energy amount bill by consumer for a particular period in percentage terms we can calculate it actually what we generate and how much we get paid the difference between them losses and that losses we have bifurcated into aggregate losses in which sub part is distribution losses so in detail what are exactly the technical losses what are commercial losses technical losses and the thing but the actual energy lost in our different equipments which we used in uh, electrical transmission systems like transformer conductors then different power system lines like power transfer sub transmission and distribution system all the losses happened in that region are called as technical losses and commercial losses are nothing but the booking meter bypassing meter defective meters unmetered supply uncovered billing these are the commercial losses so the picture is clear we have two different type of losses technical losses and commercial losses now let's see current indian situation in aggregate and commercial losses in 2004 the at and c losses was 13 4.33 and current status is 18.31% maharashtra they are around 17.34% right now if you are from another state i have given here a link which i will give you in the description box so you can check your state's live at and c losses on your screen you can see that we have by forgetting the losses in two different regions urban region and rural region as we know in urban region the transmission line length is shorter than rural region because people are living on a remote places that's why we have to by forget them we have to separate them. for ht line we have 2.5% line losses allowed in urban region but in rural region they are 3.5% distribution transformers as we know it is a static device having same ability to perform the work in any region that's why they are similar in urban as well as rural region again lt lines lt lines means the lines which give the connection to the nearby consumer that's why their limit is also similar for urban as well as rural connection means the double pole structure which has been installed near to your house that is our lt line connection from where we take the service connection and hence we have same 2.5% losses 
of line is allowed it and service connection with 0.5% losses voltage drop the part of energy conservation that's why the voltage drop should be limited that can be limited by using latest technologies like uh, power factor improvement devices or uh, at the substation end and so we can improve the voltage level if you want more explanation about that because that is a different topic so please uh, comment in comment box so i will prepare the video regarding that generation 2 consumer lines losses in front of your screen i have presented one diagram which shows the losses at each stages like transmission losses sub transmission losses primary and secondary distribution losses lt consumers including meter and non meter losses so these are the all transmission losses if you will observe a data you can see that the majority of losses occur in the distribution phase means the area where we use low voltage that is distribution area why this happen because it having its own inherent properties of network because of that these losses are more now i will explain you the technical loss results and how we can reduce it the technical losses are the result of network design is in proper network design actually then specification of equipment used in the network and network operation parameters these are the three important parts we face more technical losses now let's see how we can reduce it for reduction we have i square r reduction then compensation of reactive power flow system voltage optimization and phase current balancing and by using energy efficient transformer by this three four methods we can reduce the technical losses how to reduce i square r losses as we know if we can reduce the i square r losses that will directly reduce lot of transmission and distribution losses so how we can do that first thing is if we will transmit the high voltage through the lines that will reduce the current level as well as i square r losses are also get reduced second thing is related with the distribution transformer and consumer we have to keep the distance between distribution tra transformer and consumer should be minimal so it will reduce the voltage drop in the line and eventually i square r losses now we have some other techniques to reduce the i square r losses like power factor improvement then we can also compensate the i square r losses for that purpose connecting shunt capacitor at secondary side of 33 by 11 kv distribution transformer second this capacitor can be connected at a different point of a distribution line means we have to repeat it third thing better way is to connect capacitors at consumer end who is having inductive means if you will follow this three techniques you can improve the power factor now our next method of a reduction in technical losses is compensation of reactive power flow let's see how it can be done as we know unity or near to unity power factor is very important if you fail to achieve that then you have to pay the penalty to the electricity board so we must have to try to achieve the unity or near to unity power factor also if you are working or your industry is working on low power factor that will create impact on generating plant as the size of generating plant and distribution equipments get increased the cost is also increased and it will be depend on the consumers we will compensate the reactive power for our own order organization then you can also control the kva demand that means you have to pay less electricity bill if you will achieve this for achieving reactive power compensation we can have two different equipments like conventional automatic bank with capacitor switching 
and a latest technology which is fast acting real time bank with scr switch actually scr are the very fast acting devices and as we know the load is continuously changing In many industries load are not constant and they are creating reactive power very widely and to compensate the reactive power in their area we have to use this fast acting scr switches 